Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coaster Child Dongsterborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today it's a Halloween spectacular, I guess. So it's a very specific uh, theme park newsroom update from the Halloween section. So of course we call that the Halloween updates. And from this particular Halloween update, we're going to take a look at some brand new information from Doncaster Fear Factory, my new, my local event. Oh, it's coming back after. A few years um we've got a few bits of information to go through we've got a specific date in the calendar for their 2021 schedule uh, for a special after dark event so very exciting there uh, we're also going to go through uh, a teaser uh for potentially one of the three scare mazes and or two scare zones and we're also going to be going through the descriptions of the first official maze announced now we're going to go through all of this and share my thoughts on each individual Individual bit. So make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe and click OK so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, guys, check the description down below where you can find the link to Donkster Fear Factory's Facebook page where the link to buy tickets will be on that website link. Go and check it out. Go and get sorted. It's going to be a great event. Uh, also, check the description down below for TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord links for the channel and my personal accounts. And also the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the evidence we've gathered about the teaser, the brand new maze, and the After Dark event. So we're going to get kick-started here with the After Dark event. So obviously the teaser poster is on your screen right now. And obviously they've announced this sort of After Dark event. It will take place on Saturday, October 30th. Um, so this will be sort of an extra little thing. Uh, this is an over 18 after hours event. So you've done the scare mazes, you're pumped and ready to party hard into the night. Dongster Fear Factory have got you covered. On Saturday the 30th of October we have a special one-off over 18's after hours Halloween party for all you thrill seeking renegades. The beers will be flowing as you dance to live DJ sets in our specially designed outdoor entertainment area of the screen park for one night only. Grab your best Halloween costume, apply that dripping blood makeup and go wild into the early hours. Tickets for the event are strictly limited. Uh, all guests must be 18 or over to attend this on the night and Challenge 25 will be enforced at the point of entry. So please bring your ID. Uh, basically, Challenge 25 is where they uh, challenge... Obviously, they'll ask if you uh, with ID if you're not 25 um, they'll ask for ID if you're not 25 and under, or under 25. Um, so, obviously, that is about the uh, After Hours event for the over 18s, and obviously, for the those of you over 25, you won't get ID'd for the event. But now, what about the first official maze announced by the event? So as you can see right now on your screen, that is the concept art for the, to showcase the first official maze of the event. It's Eden. That's what it's called. It's Eden. Here is the story behind Eden. My name is Adam, and this is my story. The Eden Initiative was designed to be perfect, and for a time, it was. A community of like-minded people all living together to help protect the planet, to look after Mother Earth, and to worship Gaia. We came together, answering the call to share a sacred space and live in peace and harmony. Sticking to a carbon neutral life, growing our own food, recycling and reusing everything we had so we didn't impact on this precious planet. For a time, it was utter bliss, but then they came and changed it all. They bought the land from under us and set up the Calico Fracking Company to crack open the earth we call home to get the shale gas beneath our feet. Of course we fought them, Boy, did we fight. Rioting, protesting, and violence became a way of life. So much for peace and love right. Anything to stop them hurting Gaia and ruining the place we worshipped. The riots was just the start of it. Mad how bad things could turn so fast, isn't it? They fracked and they cracked the ground. I guess they had no idea what was down there far below the surface, but we all soon found out. When their jewels entered the rock, they bored down to a huge underground cavern. A gas, maybe a virus, it's hard to say for sure, was released and contaminated first the soil, then the crops, before moving on to the animals, then finally us. What we became 
what all of us became, I can't find the words to describe. Let's just say that uh, there was lots of blood and violence, the likes of which I've never seen. Finally, I would like to say death came for us, but that's not strictly true. They weren't actually dead. Not like we think they've been dead. Oh, the horror. My name is Adam, and this is my story. Whatever you do, under no circumstances, do not enter those woods. I beg you, you won't get out alive. So that's the story of the Eden. Uh, however, we also have one more thing to go through before we explain more about the After Hours event and the Eden Maze. And that is, of course, the, uh, the rumoured, potentially teased uh, next scare attraction based on Dominions? So as you can see on your screen right about now uh, is the teaser poster for what could be another maze as part of the event. Dominions is killing us all, says the poster. However, however, uh, the Facebook page is posted with that poster. Trust the Dominions Corporation. They can save us. So there's a bit of, a bit of one way than the other way going on, which leads to me a theme for the next maze at the event. And it's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And, you know, it should be interesting to see, um, you know, how that goes in the teasing process. And I'll explain more about my thoughts and predictions on this teaser a little bit later. After I've gone over my thoughts on the After Hours event and the Eden Maze. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at the brand new stuff from Dogs to Fear Factory, the After Hours event, the Eden maze, and also a teaser potentially for another new maze based on the Dominions Corporation. Now, first of all, let's talk, talk about the first thing we talked about, which is the After Hours event. So this is the over 18s, of course the Challenge 25 will be in place, so if you're 25 and under, I think it's just under 25 and not 25 exactly, uh, then uh, I believe it's 25 and under, uh, you will need to show your identification, it is ticket only, so it's very strict in terms of bringing people in. Hopefully this outdoor one night only thing goes ahead on the 30th of October, uh, obviously it is providing with obviously the good latest government guidance, so if Covid is not around anymore or everyone's vaccinated by June 21st, then you probably see this going ahead um but it should be it should be very interesting and i think that um you know i think that this is going to be a very nice event it's good to target the adults and to target the teens and things like that you know it's nice to target that audience and have something direct to them for one night only you know everyone gets wasted um in the halloween park so uh, you know, Halloween costumes, you're, gonna, you're probably going to see, you're probably going to see some nice Halloween costumes uh, around the site, and, you know, it should be very, very interesting. Um, so I can't wait for that. Now, talking about the first, uh, first of all, let's go for the teaser before we share my thoughts on Eden. Uh, the teaser, Dominions is killing us all, but the post says, trust the Dominions Corporation, they can save us. I think this is like a gas mask style thing. I think this is like a, a Blitz style thing. Thing. Not really World War II kind of thing, but I'm sort of thinking maybe like a corporation trying to protect us when there's a secret government message kind of thing. And you enter like a lab. I guess it's like a lab facility or a, or a sci-fi facility and sort of go through these tests. Um, so I'm guessing it's like a, maybe not a sci-fi, but maybe like a futuristic style maze. Or maybe, maybe not even futuristic, maybe it's just a laboratory style maze, like an experiment type maze or experimental... Um, Exper experiments gone wrong style maze kind of thing so maybe they're going down that kind of route and i'd like to see if that's the case when they make the official announcement of the next maze or the, or the first zone uh because i'll talk about Ian in a bit um but yeah very interesting and i can't wait to bring you more news on the dominions corporation as soon as possible now to end the video talking about the scare maze eden and i do think it could be a scare maze i think it could be a scare zone i think it could be a scare zone from the sounds of it it's the woods and things like that we've had scare zones well there is scare zones obviously walking through woods and actors going around and things like that but with the storyline this does sound like a maze in my opinion and the reason why i think it sounds like a maze is because um of the the, the massive storyline I think there's going to be some indoor and outdoor sections. So I think there will be some outdoor sections in the woodland. I think there'll be some indoor sections with jump scares and specific scenes. 
Um, I think looking at the contact tiles, which we showed you on your screen, I think we could see some uh, tents roaming around, some, um, obviously, the, the, the element of fracking involved. I mean, you guys in the theme park enthusiast community will know fracking uh, from Darren Brown's ghost train at Thought Park Resort. We know fracking. Hashtag no fracking. Um, but the, this Eden maze is an amazing theme. I, I never guessed this theme would be involved. Never in a million trillion years would I guess this theme would be involved. And, um, you know, it's very exciting to see these different themes that you never see at scare zones or scare attractions or anything, or scare parks, screen parks. You never see these kind of ma uh, maze themes. There's, there's probably a couple that's been around from time to time, but I've never heard, like, carbon dioxide, fracking, uh, tents being set up, owning the land... Obviously, the, the the whole virus theme we've we've seen before many different times, and it relates very much to society quite uh, quite much uh, right at the minute. But um, you know, with the with sort of the the adding of the the soil and the growing your own food and the carbon dioxide lifestyle and the carbon neutral lifestyle, I think that is so original compared to other virus themes and the way it starts and the way it becomes. You know. With it being like carbon neutral based and very much sea based and stuff like that, are we gonna? Is it gonna be like The Last of Us where we see like plant, half plant, half zombies kind of thing, like plant zombies or like the monster you see in The Last of Us, like the tickers or something like that? It should be very interesting, and I can't wait to see it. I have been told by the event that maze construction starts on June the first, so. It'd be really nice, COVID restrictions in place, to get down there and film some maze constructions for you guys uh, from the local event. Obviously, if I was living in Staffordshire, it'd be for Scarefest. If I was living in York, it'd be for Howler Scream. Um, but, you know, because I'm a Doncaster lad, born and bred, through and through, it's nice to sort of try and want to cover your event, and sort of, especially something that's making a comeback after a few years. So. I'm really excited for this particular maze. It'd be very interesting to see the construction of that on June the 1st, or around June the 1st. Um, you know, when's the theming going to go in? What kind of level of theming are we talking about here? And then the opening day of the event in October. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very interesting. And I cannot wait to show more about this. So... Thank you very much, guys, for watching all those new details from your uh, for Dogs to Fear Factory uh, 2021. New maze, new teaser for a maze or zone, and uh, obviously the after hours event as well. Very, very exciting. I can't wait for more maze and zone news as well. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a fiatastic day. Hashtag the Eden Project.